Welcome. This is Tennessee end of course practice test for Algebra 1. This is test number 3, but question number 64. The question says Chris and Jasmine are packing a bushel's worth of tomatoes. A bushel is about 8 gallons um, into containers that hold 10 tomatoes each. The remaining number of tomatoes in the bushel is modeled by the equation y equals 285 minus 10x, where x is the number of containers and uh, y would be the number of tomatoes left. Which table best represents the relationship between x and y? Now to me, uh, there's two very simple ways to do this one. The first one is just to plug in your x values that they're giving you and get your y. So if I wanted to know what the 2 is here, I'd take my equation and plug in a 2 because that's what it says to plug in and then I end up with 285 minus 20 or 265 so when I plugged in 2 I should get 265 similarly if you plugged in 4 you'd end up with 245 uh, 6 would be 225 and 8 would be 205 the only group that follows that logic is A C, D, and B give you different answers than that, so the answer has to be A. But I don't even need to go that far into it uh, in terms of like typing them all in. You can, but just think logically about what the question says. The formula that they use to determine what's happening is 285 minus 10x. We know that each container holds 10, so it means they started out with 285 tomatoes. And from there, all they're doing is taking away a certain number of containers every time. Now two containers would be 20 tomatoes. So from two containers I just take 20 away and I get 265. So that would be two taking, uh, taking two containers away. If I took 20 more away, which would be four containers, I end up with 245. And you go on down from 6 to 225. So you're really just subtracting the number of tomatoes that you have in each container from your original amount of 285. And uh, let's look at the other answers just for a second to see how maybe they got the answers. The change here is 4 every time, and over here it's 2. I'm not really 100% sure where they came up with the idea that that would be the case. I guess because they're looking at the number of containers. I see it now. So they're saying, okay, so it's two containers, so it's two every time, so let's just subtract two. So they're assuming like almost that each container only holds one tomato. Um, in the next set, they're going down by two every time. So it's the same type of logic. They're just taking these numbers and subtracting them over. A in this case, they're going down by ten every time. So they're almost thinking of it as one container at a time decrease here. So just adjust for it a little bit. Think about what the question is asking you. And this is a really easy question to get some points on.